trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Hi, and welcome to U.S. History After School. My name is Jeff Childers. I'm a teacher at Four Corners Upper School in Davenport, Florida, and I'm glad you have stumbled upon this collection of resources. Uh, This series is designed primarily as a playlist, so if you're not watching this within the U.S. History After School playlist, just look down to the description of this video and you'll find the link there to take you to all the resources that we are putting together for you. Um, This little endeavor started out as just uh, a way to help out a handful of students after school who wanted a little uh, extra preparation in their U.S. history course. And what it is growing into is I'm I'm hoping to put together sort of a one-stop shopping experience for short or medium length uh, YouTube content exploring the history of the United States, in this case, from the time of the Civil War all the way down to present. We go topic by topic, the way these topics are typically divided up by any decent U.S. history textbook. And uh, in, in my case, we're following the totally free, totally awesome OpenStax textbook. You can also find a link to that textbook in the description of this video. Um, I choose the OpenStax textbook because it is, first of all, it's excellent. It's produced by Rice University. It, it covers this material in uh, a fair amount of detail, yet is in- incredibly understandable and useful for the reader. It's also completely free, and that, my friends, is right in my price range, despite the fact that I make the big social studies money. Uh, free is never a bad thing. And it is accessible either online or students and teachers can download a PDF version of the text, making it accessible at all times. Um, these videos and the OpenStax Stax textbook, here comes the legal disclaimer stuff, uh, are designed to supplement whatever students are doing in their U.S. history course. Uh, I'm operating out of Florida. Every state is different and every teacher is different. Uh, Florida has a list of approved, like any state will, a list of approved United States history textbooks. You won't find OpenStax on that list, um, This, but I'm not offering uh, OpenStax or these videos to replace whatever students are doing in class, but simply to supplement, uh, and it's, it's, it's an excellent way to do that. Um, this, this playlist is a work in progress, and as you scroll through it, you'll see that it took quite a while for me to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with it. In the early lessons, it's simply recording me giving my lectures on the topics uh, with students in the room, just a handful of students in the room. It quickly occurred to me that doing it that way, though that's what I do with my daytime classes, with only two or three students in the room, uh, I felt it, w- it might be a little overwhelming for the students, and, and, and I needed my time in the room with the students to be a time where they felt comfortable and safe to say, hey, I don't understand this, Mr. Childers, because you're such a crap teacher. So I shifted gears, uh, and the playlist now, uh, I look to find short to medium length videos to cover just about every important topic that any decent U.S. history textbook will cover. Um, you can, by the, t- by the time you get to the progressive era, that's when the, uh, the video selections become a lot more exhaustive and in-depth. I may go back and, and re-edit the earlier videos, uh, at, or the earlier um, lessons in the playlist at some point. But at any rate, that's what we're doing here. I hope you find it helpful, whether you're a student, whether you're a teacher. Uh, there's, there are, you'll find 
a little bit of introductory material from me from time to time and every so often I'll make a video about a particular topic if I have something to say but the, the nice thing about living in the YouTube era and the topic of United States history is there is so much excellent material already been done um, I'm not looking to become a YouTube star nor am I capable of becoming a YouTube star but it's also not necessary there's no need to reinvent the wheel and release I don't know, flash course US history when awesome stuff is already there so um, dive into the playlist and learn you some U.S. history.